I bet you've never used this docker command before and seriously this will save you hours. So if you're constantly googling what the best docker files for python and rust typescript node is then I'll promise you this command will blow your mind. Additionally next to this really easy to use docker command we are going to code in 60 seconds a rust web server. If you're new here my name is Flo I'm a professional software engineer and on this channel we do everything related to the the world of software engineering. So grab yourself a hot beverage of your choice, could be tea or coffee or whatever it is, and let's just jump right into the code. So as promised, we are going to quickly develop a Rust HTTP server in 60 seconds. So let's go. For that, we are going to quickly add a library, which is Actix Web. Actix Web in this case is a really easy to use dependency. And with that, we can really easily create our web services in Rust. So after that, we're going to quickly jump into our main file. And then we're going to start with the definition of our port, which can be simply 8080. After that, we're going to create a simple log statement. And then we're going to create the HTTP server with the new function. This function just takes a in one argument which is just a closure and in this closure we're going to say app new service and then we are going to create a new function called greet and this function returns an implementation of the responder and in here we are just going to use the format function and return hello and then name now obviously we need a name parameter so we can simply say here name and then we use web path and string then we obviously need to define that this is a get http function and in here we are going to quickly define the path of this function and one thing i forgot actually this function has to be asynchronous and then in the creation of the HTTP server we are going to say bind which simply binds this specific server to this address then we are going to run the server and then we are also awaiting this creation of our server. Now, obviously the main function has to be asynchronous as well. And then we are also going to define the return type here and we need to define that this is the Actix web main function. Oh, one more thing I actually forgot to mention is that if we want to run this HTTP server in a container, we actually need to specify the host 0.0.0.0 because localhost or 127 dot 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 basically means that this specific HTTP server is reachable inside of the container but not outside of the container. And this was basically it with the creation of our simple HTTP server. Now this can be really complicated and really confusing with all this rust magic I would say but this is pretty much a topic for another video. Now the use case for that obviously this runs if we just run cargo run we simply get our HTTP server which is available at port 8080. However we now want to dockerize this HTTP server to a specific container. Now the use case for that could be like pretty obvious it could be to just deploy this server to a cloud platform and then it can be served for all our users. For that we obviously need to create a lot of additional files like the docker ignore file, the docker file, maybe a custom readme file and so on and so forth. So but because this HTTP server is pretty basic we can just use a standard template right? And that's where this special docker command comes in really handy. So we can simply use docker init and now we get this beautiful init CLI. Now here we're going to define Rust, which is automatically detected, which is really nice. Now obviously you can use Go, Python, etc. based on your project, but we are going to use Rust for that. After that, we are going to define the latest version or the nightly version of Rust. The port is also detected, which is 8080, really nice. And then it basically created four files. The docker ignore file, which is specialized for our project the docker file, compose file, so docker compose file, and a specific readme file. All these four files are actually based on our HTTP server. So if we take a quick look at these four files, we actually have our docker ignore file, which is a standard kind of template for all docker projects, but also our Rust project. 
Then we have a Docker file. Now this is more specific based on our project and we can basically see here all the optimizations taken by Docker. Then we have a readme file, we can just delete this. But the really powerful thing is we also have a Docker compose file. And obviously in this compose file we can define multiple services but for now, we only have our basic server. Okay, fun fact, the 1.77.0 nightly Docker image does not exist yet. So we just use the 1.76 image. And with that, everything gets installed we actually need for starting our HTTP server. And there we go, we got now our Rust server running on port 8080. And obviously our GET request is also working and is accessible through this port. Now, if you want to know what Actix Web is and how to create an HTTP server with Actix Web, I highly recommend watching this video here whenever it comes out. But thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and bye bye.